We're in the colonial city of Antigua, Guatemala to celebrate the wedding of our good friends, Ashley and Wilson. Antigua is filled with ruins, living traces of colonial Spanish culture, as well as delicious food, crafted cocktails, unique places to stay, active volcanoes, and is home to some of the best <laughs> coffee in the world. Today, we're going on an overnight hike to experience one of Guatemala's greatest attractions, the erupting Volcan de Fuego. Today, we are doing the Acatenango hike with uh, Wicho and Charlie's. We did a lot of research and Wicho and Charlie's was honestly um, what we thought the best option here in Antigua. They're the only... And, and the locals that we talked to said that they're, they're the best. Yeah, they have, um, instead of tents at the top, they have A-frames, and so you're not carrying all of your gear up. They already have um, your sleeping arrangements ready for you. Um, so still a lot of stuff to bring. Still a lot of stuff to bring. My bag is very heavy. I've got like three liters of water, so hopefully I just drink it and then it's not as heavy on my back anymore. Yeah. But Do you have um, your water bottle too? I have Maybe. my water bottle too. So, you have so like four and a half liters. I've got a lot of a lot of water. So anyway we're we're really excited, a little bit nervous, but it's gonna be a really awesome experience. It'll be good. It'll be great. Yeah. So then I had to tie my sweater on this end, and then I had to tie, which is made out of recycled plastic bottles. Very nice. Um, and then I had to tie my jacket and my scarf. Okay. So I ran out. Oh, of Oh, that's room. a good way to do it. It's tying stuff. I mean, packing is oof, a little challenging. I got this for you for your butt. You have to poop poop later. Oh, thank you. They said to bring toilet paper, huh? He said yes. Uh, we're going to be your guys for today and tomorrow. We're going to help you if you need anything. Right now we are at 2,200 meters. We will gain an elevation of 1,500 meters. At the summit we will reach an elevation of 3,976 meters. So after about a 45 minute drive, we've made it to the entrance for the hike. It's probably like at least 10 degrees cooler up here already. but. I'm gonna start off with a t-shirt, wait to put on more layers later. Ashley, Wilson, you guys ready? We are yeah. so ready. It's all the good side. It's really nice. Not yeah. so high, you and me. We've hiked like a half mile. I'm thinking it's probably more like a quarter mile. And I'm, I can't breathe. Um, I definitely underestimated, you know, how hard this might be. But the first part's supposedly the hardest. Um, we put on coats and stuff because we thought it was chilly. Immediately took them all off because it's really hot when you're actually hiking. So the cold breeze actually, you know, helps out a little bit. But we have how much? Like another mile? Any less crazy? Mile? Two hours. Two hours, right? So we've been doing this for like ten minutes. You know, very little. But it's steep. So like my backpack doesn't have buckles in the front and on the hips. So yeah, fifty percent slope. It's real steep. So the trekking poles is definitely a must. Um, yeah, stopping for some water. I think the more water we drink, you know, the less weight will be on the pack. So. Oh, it's gonna be drinking yeah. a lot. Um, <laughs> it's definitely steep in the beginning, like they said. I mean, the altitude is hey, hey, it helps living in the mountains, I guess. But yeah, I'm doing all right. Kids wet. Very initially, this is for the borders. Location is for right handed people. We made it to the registration for the, the park to hike up Akatanango. It took us about an hour of super steep hiking to get here, but we're here. Now that we're here, you pay 50 quetzales to enter, and then you'll pay 60 quetzales once you reach the top. Lots of sweat, but no tears yet. It's been 30 minutes, 
since we left the registration. Uh, it didn't get less steep. It was it was still really steep. So there were a couple of spots that were flatter, but it's still pretty steep. We we can see our breath, but I'm so hot that you know I'm welcoming the cold. Um, they do have a lot of breaks. So it seems like every 30 minutes we're like you know getting to sit down, get water, and honestly, like if you're tired, you can stop and you can like drink water or put on a jacket or you know. So they kind of go at the pace of, of the group, um, which is nice. But then they take like a big group break, which is like five to ten minutes long. We can like sit down. I grabbed a Snickers so I can reward myself at the top. We also have this dog that's joined us for the hike. Check him out. There it is. Anyway, see you in a few. This is. This is for breakfast. Okay. All right. This is for hey, lunch. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I gave him Don't bad advice. So for lunch, we've got vegan meatballs and mashed potatoes and gravy. I'll take it. So it is um, a little after one. We started on the hike at 10:45. We're at about 11,000 feet at this point. Um, it's finally started to flatten out, which is great. Mars was a king, but he is now giving me back my backpack to continue the hike. This is nice and spicy, potatoes. Hmm. So anyway, how's it been going so far? How do you feel? I feel surprisingly good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, carrying your pack on the front helped balance the weight a little bit. So on the, the level ground, it was completely fine, but you know, on the, the super steep stuff, my thighs kind of, yeah, I'm feeling it. But overall, I am, I'm feeling great, feeling great. There's two different hikes. You can summit to Akatenango, to the top, or you can go to Fuego, which is, this is one of the only tour companies that lets you go actually like to Fuego, which is the erupting volcano. Um, so if you want to do that, you have to have at least five in your group, but they also have to check what the weather's like at the top, so. We'll see, we'll see what we do. Good, lunch, oh my goodness, the best sauce is hunger. Andrew, Andrew was in a... So we're at about almost 12,000 elevation, I believe. Vulcan de Agua is behind us, and you can definitely feel the temperature change, but I'm not quite ready to put my jacket on yet, because I'm kind of welcoming the chilly weather. Honestly, like we couldn't have asked for better weather. I left my wife and 48 kids alone in the kitchen in starving condition without any gingerbread. Did I do right? 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 Left? Right? Right from the country <laughs> hit the jingle. First they hired me, then they fired me, then my golly I left. 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 Right. Left. <laughs> okay, so right now we are... 15-20 minutes to base camp. Yeah. So we're making it. So we have actively been hiking for four and a half hours. Yeah, about that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, really cool experience so far. So Let's it's about it. a five hour, about a five hour hike for us. It's about almost a base camp. It's a little windier. It's time to put on some layers. My hands are actually just realized my hands are super cold, so I got mittens. Feeling ass? I feel good. Bring Alka Seltzer. Uh huh. It helps. Dude, it saved the day. Tip. Travel tip. Ah, uh, base camp is just around the corner. Okay, dude, yeah, here we go. Looks like we're walking up to some A-frames, which I know we have. So maybe these are ours. Woo! We did it. Dude, great job, guys. Good job. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
Jungs. Yes. Ah. Sus. We have a pretty set. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh sweet. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye bye. Oh my god, my legs. So we made it to uh, our base camp. It took us about five hours, which was ridiculous. It took you like two. two hours. <laughs> He's very fast. Um, but uh, so now you can choose if you want to summit Akatananga, which takes another hour, or if you want to go over to Fuego. And this is one of the only tour companies that offers that option. So it's about two hours there, two hours back, and we're feeling pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. Our whole group is going to do it, all eight of us. And so um, I'm pretty proud of everyone. We're gonna hopefully not regret this later. I don't think so. Uh, and then tomorrow at 4 a.m. there's another hike to the summit for Akatanango and that starts at 4 a.m. so we can do a sunrise hike. So we're gonna try to do it all. So Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> the sun is setting on an incredible day. We're probably about 20 minutes to the summit of Fuego. It's 5.45, 20 minutes to the summit. And it's just been, this extra hike has been the most beautiful part of the hike. So I think we're all very glad we did it. Thank you, universe. However you want to slice it. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Oh my god. It is 9 o'clock at night. We just got back to base camp in Fuego. They gave us rice and curry. Oh my god, it's like a, it's delicious, hot chocolate, super sweet. But we need to like put some more sugar back into our bodies because we just hiked. And then for like four hours, there were eight of us that made it there and back. We all made it. Some Definitely not for the faint of heart. Some of us are feeling as well. Yep. No, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> but doable. It's very it's doable. doable. <laughs> and it's tough, but it's, it's really worth it. Of our, our we saw road. a volcano so well, close. It's so time, we're gonna it's get time we're gonna get some sleep just tomorrow. Gotta, gotta there's a sleep. there's a morning hike to uh, nope. the summit Akatanango. <laughs> I don't know. No, there's no way. Do it. Because I'm sore as shit. I'll see the fucking But maybe someone else will. But I'm gonna get some sleep because I we'll feel like I quite deserve it. We'll see. Um, see you tomorrow. Just to yeah, and I didn't, uh, I didn't speak very good. Yeah. So, bop around. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly feel great. I feel so much better than I thought I would. We made it! We made it! Yay! 10.14, so it took about an hour and a half yeah. to get back down. Here are the gates. Thank you, my friend! Gracias! We made it back to Antigua from the hike. Um, it was not for the faint of heart. It was super difficult. But one of the most amazing things I've ever done in my life. I don't think I'll ever hike another mountain and then have the same, you know, incredible payoff as a volcano erupting every few minutes. So very, very glad that we did it. But definitely something that is, that is hard to do. So be prepared. Um, now we are grabbing some lunch and then uh, Mars and I are heading to Habitanango 
Tenango means place of, so we're going to the place of the Hobbit.